Hi guys, good morning. Today we are starting the day at a uh, warehouse. I've picked up, come to pick up one more uh, bucket of the bitumen mass. The guys at the uh, building supply store didn't have it in stock, so I came to the source. So I just uh, paid for the stuff and the warehouse uh, worker will bring it out. Alright guys, so I would like to address why I was at the warehouse. Uh, basically, it's not, not everything always goes to plan and smoothly. Uh, initially, we ordered 20 buckets of that bitumen mass for the interior of the house foundation. Then it turned out uh, the guys would require a bit more. So I ordered another two buckets and went to pick it up at the building supply store right and that was supposed to finish the last part of the foundation and also the uh, interiors of the pass throughs but uh, the guys that were applying it maybe misunderstood and they did the pass through was only halfway and used up all of the bitumen mass so there is not enough for the remainder of the pass throughs so we are short we are short right now uh, because the, the pass-throughs are not covered and we're going to put pipes inside of them today and you know the afterwards it will be not possible to uh, seal the concrete nicely with the bitumen mass so I called up the uh, building supply store and ordered another bucket and they were supposed to the, get it in the morning so I could pick it up on my way to the construction site but uh, they had a delay, so instead of picking it up at their place, I came to the warehouse before they did and picked up my bucket. They'll be here later to pick up the rest of their stuff, but luckily I could just go to the warehouse where they were picking it up from and uh, pick it up myself. It's just one bucket, so not a big problem. And yeah, so not everything always goes according to plan on the construction side. <laughs> Sometimes you have to improvise or uh, go out of your way to get something uh, ready and prepared. So, yeah. Uh, right now we're going to another building supply store to pick up some reinforcements for the floors and some uh, plastic sheeting for under the concrete. And that is required for tomorrow. I have to pay for it today so they can bring it tomorrow because we never dealt with them before. Oh, I think I missed my turn. Okay. I'm good now. <laughs> I almost turned to the airport. So uh, the plastic sheeting it will go underneath the uh, sub layer of the floor, the concrete that is uh, the first layer on the sand just to separate it so the water from the concrete doesn't drain into the sand too quickly and uh, yeah, I have to pay for it today so I'm going to make a stop there and then it's on to the construction site to start laying out some uh, sewage or sanitary installations with Mr. Pavel alright, let's go I'm gonna pay for my stuff and we're off to the construction site. Alright guys, I have arrived to the construction site. And, uh, the guys are having breakfast. I get the plants for the sewage pipes. We're gonna get started pretty soon. Alright guys, we're getting started and the second shipment of pipes has arrived. The guys are uh, drawing lines in the sand for where the pipes will go and we'll start digging soon. So the guys are uh, figuring out the layout and I have to sign for the delivery of the pipes. So this is the first pipe we're putting in, it goes on the very bottom, it's the inlet for the telecom. And uh, yeah, it has a very slow out. Yes. 
it blows out slowly so that we can put those uh, HDPE pipes that we were digging in the road. They will go into the house through this pipe and then through this bend out of the floor. That's the general idea. So now the guys are fitting the pipe. We measure the distances from zero. The pipe we just put down, we set the level with putting sand underneath, made sure there's a drop, and then we put, with our hands, we pushed sand under the pipe all the way through. Then we put some water on the side so it can compact better. Then we pound it on it with a board and now the guys are filling it up all the way and we get a, a compactor, like a jumping compactor to compact this, uh, the hole that we dug with the pipe inside so the sand can carry the load of the floor. Right, so the guys, they dug the holes for uh, the two installations. We got a, uh, a sewage and a gray water installation separately from uh, the toilet, goes uh, one pipe and from the kitchen sink, for example, and then another pipe from the shower, bathtub, and from the bathroom sink. So those will be stored separately and maybe we can utilize the water somehow. And uh, otherwise we're stuck with one system. So there are two parallel uh, main pipes and there are a lot of crossings in between so it's a little bit a complicated spider web of pipes but the guys are doing a great job figure out, figuring out the plans so uh, we should be done today and tomorrow we'll put concrete on top of it. The white stuff is, uh, that Mr. Grzegorz is putting on is a lubricating agent. It uh, helps the pipes fit together easier. Doesn't hurt the O-rings, the seals, the black seals. These that are inside the pipe, it's easier to put the stuff in. Unfortunately, it's raining really poorly, so the work got stopped for a while, but it's not stopping. The rain is not stopping, so we're getting back to work. So this compactor is a little bit different than the one yesterday. This one has a very small footprint and we're going to use it precisely where we uh, put the pipes, we dug for the pipes, so it compacts the ground. We're not digging much deeper than uh, 30 centimeters, so or the sand on top of the pipe is not deeper than, or not thicker than 30 centimeters, so this compactor should be fine. The guys, when they put down the pipe, they took a board and uh, compacted the uh, sand around it. So now the compactor will just compact the sand on top and it should be great. We also use it for the corners and here behind the stairs where the normal compactor couldn't reach. This pipe is uh, almost ready to be fitted. Uh, the guys are putting it all together on top and they're going to drop it into the trench they dug and make sure that it has the right uh, angle of the sand. That's around 2%, that means 2 centimeters for every meter. And it's a 160 diameter pipe. The one next to it will be the dirty sewers from the toilets. It's gonna be a 200 millimeter diameter and also have a 2% uh, decline, so the same. And they both are going to 
go through these halls onto the other side and then up to the bathroom. Przeszło? All right guys, we measured everything. We have this pipe in place. The guys are uh, compacting the ground around it. We're going to pour some water also around it and fill it up and run the compactor, the jumping compactor on top. Alright, so this project, this is like a side view of the pipes with height. It tells us uh, all the spots where, where there are like uh, connectors or bands or something. And, uh, or any non-linear element. On the bottom it gives us the distances from the wall. And then on the uh, vertical lines it shows us the depths from zero, from the house zero. That's why we have a... Dwa wodka mija. Ile tam tych regułów tu mija? Eee, było tam jeszcze dwa, dalej, dalej, pięć. dalej jedź. Nie, czekaj, 405. No, dobra. 405. 405. Masz? Tak. To będziemy tutaj. Dobra, już. Wszystko. Ile tu mamy mieć? Eee, 81. To... 51, tak? Tak, trochę A mamy 52. Well, as you saw, the guys basically measure from point to point and uh, reference the height given and then they smooth out the bottom surface and uh, yeah, so that's how we lay the pipes with the proper angle of 2% just takes a little bit of time, tedious work but I think we'll manage So we're cutting a 3 meter length of uh, 200 millimeter pipe to length. Now the guys are going to fit this big piece inside. Oh, oh. Dobra, dawaj. Dobra, czekajcie, stop, Milkovich. A little bit of the sand fell and the guys were pulling the pipe in. So they're going to lift it up and uh, remove it just by hand pushing the sand out so it can rest in its proper position. I'm going to check with the string on the top of the pipe, just subtracting uh, 20 millimeters from the measurement and it should be fine. <laughs> So we're pouring water so the sand is more wet so that it compacts better 
and uh, maybe drains down with the water and fills the void underneath the pipe because it might have some gaps of air that might not get removed even through compacting so it's a good idea to pour some water Yes. It is all quickly disappearing under sand. Nightfall is approaching, but we are destined to finish this today before it gets too dark. And uh, then the guys will go home, they will compact the rest tomorrow. But we want to put it in the ground, cover it with dirt, and get out of here. <laughs> and tomorrow we are going to put concrete, and that's the plan. We're still on track. It's getting dark, but we're at the last stretch. The last pipe is uh, being cut. We're going to put this in, and it's going to be done. This is a. This is going to be a vertical pipe coming in from the laundry room. Yes. That will be it for. That will be it for today. It's uh, 9:30, and the night is setting in. The results are good, we put all the pipes in. The guys are ordering some kebabs and going home. And I'm going home too. Thank you guys. <laughs>